Hey, what's up guys? I'm back. Um, I know I've been kind of MIA for a little bit. Uh, that's because World of Warcraft Classic came out. And I uh, loved that game when I was younger. So I couldn't help but play it um, when it came out. And I ended up playing it quite a bit. So um, that's pretty much where I've been. I didn't have work this past week, so... Um, I just kind of was playing WoW and um, doing other things. Uh, I went to Kentucky with my friends one weekend to uh, backpack. Uh, well, we weren't planning on backpacking. We were just planning on camping, but they didn't have any campsites, so we had to walk into the woods off the trail and camp out there. So that was interesting because we didn't have any gear to bring, uh, bring this stuff out there. So that was uh, that was interesting to say the least nothing much has really happened um since since i made my last video other than just playing a lot of games um, i guess i just kind of took a vacation for myself um, but today is kind of the day that i realized like all right you know i've been playing a lot of games uh, maybe i should do something else um, so that's one reason why i'm making this video um, is to get back into um, things that um, actually have purpose and meaning um, instead of things that are just kind of, uh, I don't know, just for fun or um, have no contribution to other people's lives. So, so I've kind of been thinking about the idea of maybe possibly doing a live uh, YouTube video so people can ask me questions, people can uh, talk to me. Um, and I can just answer them directly on the fly. That's how I work usually. That's I'm better that way than with like just trying to script something and um, talk about it. So I like it when people are interested and they have questions and I just kind of answer questions. Um, yeah, I'm just interested in talking about pretty much anything. Like if it comes to culture or um, existential stuff or... Um, anything really that is, I don't know, just about life, I guess. Um, psychology, stuff like that. I had a conversation with uh, with some people the other night, and we were talking about um, good and evil, and if it exists or not. Because, um, uh, you know, if you look at nature, is a lion evil because it, you know, tackles an antelope? Is a cat evil because it plays with the mouse and like makes it suffer and stuff like that? Or is that just kind of the way they are? Um, is good and e are good and evil like terms that we've defined culturally? Are those things that um, we have constructed for ourselves? Um, are those expectations or standards that we sort of have placed on humanity and the world to help us? cope with things and help us understand our own world better, but not necessarily in alignment with, um, with reality itself, I guess, uh, as on a greater perspective, because we are just animals, so we're trying to understand the world in the best way we can, and sometimes we put labels on things to make things make more sense to us, but maybe everything already does make sense, we just are trying to understand things that are above our comprehension. Um, I don't know. Good and evil. I think that generally people would, would agree that something evil is something that is harmful to other people or other entities, like other people, like other, um, you know, other beings, so, um, especially if it's like a conscious harming of them, um, and I guess good would be the opposite of that, contributing positively or benefiting positively to some, um, beings or to, um, the planet or things like that, but those are, those are categories, you know, so those are, um, those are things that we have defined as what evil is and what good is. 
but does good and evil exist in the universe? Is that something that actually exists? And is there anything that's, um, that really needs to be changed in the universe? Because everything is part of creation. So, you know, we're from the earth. Um, you, maybe our souls are from a different place, but we're here on the planet earth. Um, you know, our souls are probably from the earth in some ways too, but, um, cause it's all connected, you know, it's not like the earth is made of the same stuff that other planets and other suns and things are made of. We're just made of star, I mean, stardust, I guess. Um, you know, if I look at change and, and development and things like that, um, and evolution and it's like culture culture takes form in its own like culture ev evolves just like physical beings do you know like there's things it's like has an ecosystem and when there's a certain pressure on some aspect of culture then it changes because there's too much resistance and so there's an aspect of it that dies um, or changes or adapts and so it's constantly growing, constantly changing, and it's kind of like a natural ecosystem in itself. It's just like this big supercomputer that we've built because our brains can't, um, you know, it's like an external brain for society. So all the stuff that we've learned from our ancestors, all the culture that we have is basically passed down from generation to generation. And that's why we are where we are today. Um, without that, um, without culture, humans are just, I mean, we just, um, we have no reference point. We have no, um, well, I mean, if you look at, if you look at beings or, um, look at humans that haven't been exposed to culture, um, who, you know, you know live, like lived in a basement or lived in the wild, they have, they're just like any other creature. Um, not to say that we're superior but having a culture gives you some sort of um, structure to, to grow in and it allows you to understand things um, on a different level. I'm not saying that it's better or worse because it's just different, but I'm not really sure what I believe necessarily, but it's interesting to discuss and think about and uh, contemplate. So just figured I would throw some of that stuff out there. And if you like this video, let me know by liking or commenting below. And if you'd like to see more videos by me, then check out my channel, Informal Inquiry. And as always, uh, seek your truth and take time for yourself. All right, guys, see you in my next video. Bye.